Hey everyone, um, can we just uh, can we just talk about what I want to talk about today? <laughs> I wasn't even gonna really do this video, but I was just sitting here and this was what I was going through and um, I just decided this was what I wanted to do and I was gonna just turn the camera on and discuss with you all. Um, lip balm. To say that me really being into lip balm right now is a change in any way from my entire history is incorrect because lip balm was the gateway into makeup. It was the thing that I was first very into before I could even, you know, put on all this other stuff. I was always fascinated by lip balm. Right now, I would say specifically, I have a bit of a fascination with really luxurious lip balms. It's kind of like a bit of a paradox when you say luxury lip balm. I was talking about this with Bub last night. I was like, do you get this? Do you get what I'm saying here? And he was like, yeah, I guess I understand. Like lip balm can be kind of like a workhorse, like real basic product. Like you could accomplish the task with a tub of Vaseline if you really needed to. But then you put luxury in with it and it's like, why is luxury lip balm really even a thing? Then there's another way you could look at it and you could say, well, um, lip balms, maybe it's more important that they contain more high quality, really nourishing, moisturizing ingredients than the average lip product because they are a balm and maybe more is expected of them. So I could kind of justify it either way. But nonetheless, what I'm going to be talking about today, <laughs> what I just like to sit here and chat about, we're going to try some on, I'm just going to talk. Um, I don't know that this is even really a review, I just want to talk about them. Because this is really what I've been using a lot of lately. So they are the luxury, expensive, bougie, who do you think you are lip balms. Like, not to the people using it, who do you think you are, but like, to the lip balm, who do you think you are. I don't know, I guess I'm seeking to answer the question, is this even necessary? Because I do have good inexpensive lip balms too. Too. like a great Nivea lip balm that can really do the job but we start infusing tint and that's what this is really about in this video the tinted balms I love comfort I love shine I love almost a gloss like look to the lips but it came from a stick that has always fascinated me so let's talk about the one that I have on right now should I take it off so you can see it yet yeah. this is from Guerlain and it's beautiful. Like the packaging makes me feel so cool. Plus I have these beautiful like chic nails that I did last night. It's like three little blocks and they're not like perfect blocks. They seem like they've been like, squeezed in or something. Like it's so cool. I feel so cool with this. It's called the Kiss Kiss Rose Lip and I have it in R374 Wonder Violet. Not just Violet, Violet. And I really like um, going for darker tinted balms because you know it's gonna be a more sheer lip product, at least you can read up in the description. And if you find that it's gonna be sheer, you go darker and I feel like then there's a little more satisfaction in the color on the lips. So you got this kind of rounded bullet here. There's nothing super formed like a lipstick, which we will see in one of these. And it just goes on so creamy. Feels really luxurious and smooth. Mmm. And it's so shiny. Carries a lot of shine, I feel. Mmm. <laughs> yes. Really, really like it. Plus, it smells a little bit rosy. I feel like I should pull it up and just get a little background here. This isn't a brand I use a lot of, period, so I could not adore the packaging more. The white, the gold, the berry inside, which as you see the comparison to the lips, you definitely are getting a more sheer color payoff compared to what you see in the tube, but that is really nice. Like, that's a really satisfying level of color for a tinted lip balm, in my opinion. Okay, this comes in like six different shades. The one I got is appears to be the darkest in the lineup. So if you're looking into a tinted lip balm and you know it's going to be sheer, um, don't be scared to go for the darkest one in the lineup. But this is called a hydrating and plumping tinted balm. Also very intrigued by anything cooling or plumping that's in the balms, right? It says each lip formula is enriched with rose oil extract to hydrate and plump the look of lips. So it doesn't feel like a plumper at all. This doesn't have like any of the cooling sensation that the YSL very obviously does or the Buxom. It's encased in an irresistible white lacquer case making it the ultimate fashion accessory. I've got two little like angels on my shoulder. The practical one says you can get that exact same look with something that you just bought for five dollars and then the luxury angel says but it's so pretty in the packaging and it's just such an experience out of the tube. It's like that x-factor kind of feeling you get when you get it out. So anyway. Anyway, I have it, I'm gonna move on. Since I did mention the YSL, and I also talked about this in a recent video where I was talking about some luxury makeup, but this is the one that's kind of like a plumper and a balm all together, and this is the nude shade. I saw 
Tiffany D show one of these in a video and she was kind of complaining about the color shifting and I think she had the very, very lightest one. So that might be more of a transformative thing. I was wondering what that lightest shade in the lineup, this kind of a champagne-y color would do and apparently it has a little shift to it, like a little staining thing. But mine is this nude and I don't really feel like it goes out of control color wise at all. It doesn't really go beyond like the colored part of this stick that you see. But it's got that black like gel heart there with the plumping stuff and it feels beautiful going on. Cooling. It really does not do much of a stain at all. And as I was editing that video where I did put this on, I just thought, gosh, that looks so fresh, so pretty. And then now after application, the cooling comes in and it feels so, so nice. Like I really like that experience. I almost think it's like worth it to get something like this. A really luxurious balm that's gonna take you to that level because that really, I don't know why that's so rejuvenating and exciting to me, but I love the cooling effect. But if you're trying to save some money and get that same thing, get a Buxom. Now this is a mini Buxom, even though it looks exactly like a full-size lipstick. They're, uh, apparently their powerful plump, lip plumping balms are really, really big in just regular size. But this is flushed. This is the darkest shade in their line. This like lives in my purse all the time. And I swear it's the very same feel that the YSL gives you. What's gonna turn the tide there is if this beautiful packaging really is speaking to you um, because they really just have the same feeling. In fact, let me throw on this Buxom one just to show you. If you listened to me around the holidays, you would have gotten that um, set of these four Buxom lip balms, which are all part of the regular line. There's the big O one, the one called Glowing, and the red that I love so much called Fiery. And then even after the holidays, they bumped the price down even lower, and that's when you really should have listened to me. So hopefully everybody's got these. But here's Flushed, which is really just like, like I said, it looks dark, but there's sheerness. It's kind of like the color of the Guerlain one, but not quite as shiny. Also not quite as shiny as the YSL. But the feeling going on the lips is very, very smooth. It does feel luxurious. You will get a cooling effect and the lips just look pillowy and soft and maybe even a little more pillowy than they might with the real shiny finish. Do you know what I mean by pillowy? Like there's a smoothness, just a kind of a plumped from within kind of but I think what I'm getting at in this video is that the Buxom, even though it's probably on the low end cost-wise compared to everything that I'm talking about in this video, this gives me the feeling that I really like and the color that I like. I wish they would come out with even more shades in these though. Um, and I would really like to get my hands on a full size just to see how big it really is. But I didn't do this video just to be like, eh, the luxury things aren't really worth it because I do think they're gorgeous. That wasn't really my intention. I'm not really even doing a review here. I'm just like sitting here talking. I need some coffee. But the list goes on, my friends. Um, I've got one from Pat McGrath. Again, irresistible packaging. Don't you love this? The way those gold lips are on there, I might like this even better than my minis that are black with the gold. I think the white with the gold is maybe even better. And I don't really hear people talking about these. Are they newer? Is that why people aren't talking about them? Or are people just too obsessed with the eyeshadow palettes to care? Pat McGrath Labs Love Supreme 522 Lip Fetish Sheer Color Balm. That was all I needed to hear. You know what might be nice to have up here is a Google Home so I could just like talk to it and say, Pat McGrath Sheer Color Balm. Give me the info and then it could just contribute. They have shimmer finishes, that's right. Three shimmery finishes. I show you on my phone like you can really get something out of this. Six satin finishes and the shade I got was the Love Supreme. Was that the darkest? No, I was trying to decide between Flesh 3, which is that really deep looking one that you see there, and then Love Supreme looks a little more like berry pink. And I went with the berry pink. It says it's infused with a blend of soothing emollients, antioxidants, and vitamins that protect from free radicals and support lips softness and elasticity. So it looks like a lipstick. And frankly, out of everything here, it also feels most like a regular lipstick and behaves most like a true lipstick. And that's not just the look of it playing mind games with me because I asked myself that at first, but I do love the shape of her sticks. I like how um, there's no indentation across the cut that goes right here. They kind of bow out a little bit. I don't know why I like that, but I do. Feels good going on. 
why did I just yoink? But putting this on, it feels a little thicker, thicker than the Guerlain or the YSL or even the Buxom. And it does carry a little shine, but not tons. It feels nice and balmy, but it provides a lot of color. And frankly, the color is pretty much what I'd expect, you know? Like if I were looking at this as a regular true lipstick, not with any kind of sheer description, like it really gives that exact color, I feel just really creamy, really smooth. So I think I would look at these, especially the cream formulas, not the ones labeled uh, shimmer. So the satin finish is what they call this. If you're thinking about purchasing one of these, I would kind of expect it to be pretty true to color instead of as sheer as some of these others. So mm, I like it. I think it's a really pretty shade. Pink, but not too light and bright, just a little bit of depth in it. I really like it. I think I'll totally use it, um, but I still like the Buxom and the YSL for the whole feel factor, you know? And here's another thing, guys, that I've been doing a lot with these balms, and maybe it's the whole casual nature of the rest of my makeup. Like, I'm really trying to do perfect skin and then simple eyes because I'm laying off of a lot of liner and lashes and that type of thing because I have had irritation along the lash line. I've become very protective of my lash line now and I, I will sometimes do stuff there, but for the everyday, I'm keeping it a little more simple. Today I'm wearing the Sultry palette, by the way. But what I find myself really liking is to take one of these more sheer balms, pop it on, or you could use any balm, like a colorless balm, put it on and then grab a lip liner and use that to kind of adjust the color to exactly what you want. So you could spend your money, get one of these bougie, fabulous tinted lip balms, and that gives you a little base color, and then you can just jazz it up with any lip liner you have and make it more red or make it more berry or make it more coral, whatever. That's just a thought if you need a little inspo here. But I've got a Sugar Advanced Therapy, and I do have several of these. Still, I think the difference is that it's called advanced therapy. Yeah, because like here's sugar tulip. This says sugar advanced therapy and it says dream. And I think this came in a Sephora play thing. So sheer pink lip treatment. So the sugar advanced therapy, I have one of these down in my bathroom downstairs. Oh, that lemony kind of scent, really nice. But the advanced therapy, you know, claims to do a little more for your lips than just the regular tinted balms from Fresh. When you can hardly shut yourself up long enough to put this actual balm on. So here's that. Mm. There is a thickness, not a, not a dry thickness, but like a really rich emollient thickness that comes with these Fresh balms that is just undeniable. It's always going to be there and very few things can compete with that more balmy, more moisturizing than probably anything in this video. Ooh, I do like that a lot. In comparison, like when you really try these on back to back to back, you can see there is a richness in that. I hope it's not completely annoying to just watch me go, hmm. That's what you have to do to feel the lip balm though. You must feel the balm. The regular tinted balms are pretty creamy, but that is super creamy. Now I kind of want to try on two lips because I haven't worn a regular tinted one in a while. But that advanced therapy seemed way richer. Yeah, yeah, I would say the stick itself going across the lips deposits more product on your lips than just the regular one. But as you can see, this tulip is even brighter. Still very nourishing, very moisturizing, but that advanced therapy, it was like a whole new level of thickness and richness of product going across the lips. And then Bobbi Brown, these came in a PR package. I wanna say it was before Christmas. These are called Extra Lip Tint. One is bare pink and one is bare blackberry. And this bare pink, this is precisely what like the It Cosmetics Je ne sais quoi is doing because this is gonna go on, it's gonna look totally clear and then it's gonna give my lips a really, I think distinct pinky flush. But these balms feel wonderful. These might be some of my favorites. Like so smooth, rich, nice thick texture to it, quite a bit of shine, but there's the bare pink. Isn't that nice? But wait till you see the next one. Hold on. This is bare blackberry. Don't be scared when it's something sheer, because look. Oh, stunning. Love that. Ooh, I love a berry balm. Yes. This time of year, that is the exact kind of color I want. That's what the Guerlain was giving me. That's what the Buxom Flushed was giving me. 
Thank you. Since I've referenced it, this got talked about in a video not too long ago, but this is like what the Je Ne Sais Quoi is. They have it in a more formed lipstick. It's called like Vitality Lip Flush, but I have it in this nice jumbo stick too, which can easily be used on cheeks and lips, and it's gorgeous. It's that pinky glow. And then come to find out, I think they make this in a more rich, rosy glow, which I must have. I must try that. I didn't even know that when I was first talking about this. But anyway, guys, what do you think? Do we need expensive lip balms? Would you be on the side of making the case for, yes, we need an expensive lip balm because this is the treatment of your lips and anything that combines sort of a treatment philosophy should be better ingredients and maybe you should pay extra for it? Or do you think it makes no sense I can totally handle my Rosebud Salve or my EOS Lip Balm or my Nivea or heck, even a Lip Smacker. Do you feel like those totally get the job done for you or are you guilty of being pulled in by the luxury end like me? Um, I've got this Precision Lip Liner from NARS here in Port Grimaud. It's kind of berry-ish, you can see by the tip of the pencil. And this is what I might do to really play up the look, is just add a little liner and then you can further define your lips and your color will always be sheer because you're going on top of something so like creamy, borderline shiny. Your lip liner is never gonna go as far as it would if you were just putting it on a bare or slightly drier lip. You end up with kind of a stainy looking lip. See, isn't that pretty? You've added a little depth. I'm finding it's a great way to get use out of my lip liners again. But bottom line here, I really like the cooling feel and I feel like for practicality's sake, like the Buxom is doing it and it's probably the least expensive. And I need to make it my mission to actually try a full size, but the YSL kind of gives you that, ooh, it's got a weight to it. It feels luxurious. It's got that weird little like black heart inside. I like it, I will use it, and I'm even a little bit compelled to try another shade in it. This is an outstanding berry tinted balm and it smells a little bit rosy, but not a strong, like really knock your socks off rose. You kind of got to look for it. And I really, it's, oh, it's a very nice product. I do like it. Um, the Pat McGrath, well, I think the packaging is so gorgeous. It's the most just like a creamy lipstick. Don't get me wrong, it feels great on the lips, but it's not quite so balmy as everything else. So it's kind of like, well, I would definitely just put this in my regular lipstick lineup for sure. The Bobbi Brown, I really like that Blackberry shade. But the winner maybe for the most actually moisturizing, thick, rich, emollient thing might be the Sugar Advanced Therapy. If you've tried this, tell me what you think, because I have a feeling a lot of people may have had access to this as a sample in different sets or in the Sephora Play. I need to see if they make this in other colors, but this Dream, um, this pinky shade is really like baby lips, you know? Should I do a whole thing diving into drugstore tinted lip balms after this? I kind of feel like I need to, but um, that's all I got for now. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for just letting me talk about what I want to talk about. If you're still here, I love you. Thank you so, so much for listening to my rambles and perhaps appreciating them. I, I thank you. But I love makeup. I think about it every day, the fact that I am so lucky to get to come up here and just talk about something I truly want to be talking about. This does not feel like work to me. This does, this feels like play and communicating with friends. And sometimes when I'm looking at like Instagram or something and I see these makeup looks, I'm like, I don't know that I'm talented enough to pull that off or wow, I don't have this number of followers or anything. But you know what zips up that whole little mental dialogue there is my love for it is sky high. I think I love makeup as much as anybody could love makeup. So, and I think my enthusiasm is always here and that's what this kind of video just like feeds me with. So thank you for watching guys. I will let you go and I'll see you next time. Bye.